we are now going to invite um, two uh, individuals from Finland who is going to come on board and share with you what are some of the key considerations in venture building. I guess there's so much technology out there. What are the considerations that we want to take, put in place? Why do they invest in certain technology and how can they help bring those technology come alive? So please allow me to introduce Pasi. Pasi who just asked the question, he's going to answer his question right now. <laughs> and of course, Katarina. So the stage is both of you. All right, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Oliver, for the opportunity to escape the uh, freezing temperature and, and snow up there north in the Nordic countries for a while and, and come here and enjoy the warmth and, and, and sunny weather at least for a couple of days. My name is Pasi Pohela. Uh, I'm the partner in actually three uh, venture companies in, in Finland. Uh, actually heading one, Nordic, Nordic Star of Ventures, but also then well, uh, uh, working as a partner uh, in well, Liquido and, and uh, Innovestor. Uh, and actually what we are doing there in all those three uh, companies, we are developing startups. Uh, startups can be called ventures as, as well, but uh, I, I prefer the term startup because that's that tells what they actually, what these companies are. And actually, why venture building? Uh, as an investor, uh, I guess we all are looking for uh, returns to our investments. And, and then uh, studies and statistics are actually now showing clearly that well, this venture building model uh, actually brings best uh, uh, gains and best returns. Uh, compared to some of the other ways of, of uh, investing in early stage companies like uh, Business Angel or then uh, uh, investing through a VC fund uh, and uh, in some cases then well, the buyout investments as, as well. But uh, the numbers are showing that well, this kind of a model where you go in, join early on and then really work closely with the company you invested in and actually that brings the best r results. Uh, I will show you now, and I have actually then the founder of one of our ventures or startups, then Katarina here with me, uh, that, uh, what we are doing actually uh, in the domains and, and space which is relevant to, to, to today's topic. So what kind of companies uh, we are actually now developing, companies that are working with AI and also then we're providing solutions for the construction and, and building business. Um, just to quickly show uh, actually how we are getting value and creating value. So basically, well, the best time to get in value-wise is then to uh, just before the, the, that uh, startup is, is getting closer to the uh, finding product market fit because well then that could be a 10x then the return at that point and then the, the second time when we can add a lot of value is then when we are helping the companies getting across this famous chasm or, or the valley of death uh, that's the other name for the time when most of the or too many startups actually fail so so those are really the times uh, when we can add value and also we can gain a lot The business model is, is quite simple, actually. So we are the founders' best friends. Help them with whatever challenges they are facing. We take equity. Well, uh, when we join, well, as investors usually do, and, and then uh, typically then we also take and get commission when we help the companies, especially with the uh, fund, uh, future funding rounds. So that, that part of the funding we are, we are generating, channeling in, then we take our success fee from that. So actually, quite simple. Well, in real life, it's it's not that simple at all. I, I guess as anyone who has been investing and working and working with the startups, well, uh, we all know how difficult it, it it actually is. But as a model, well, it is pretty simple. 
And now, to, to, let's say the, the main point, so the, both the success stories or uh, case examples of the companies operating in this field. Um, today's uh, the field we are now talking about today and, and, and then uh, uh, kind of a w what's going on there. So uh, Katarina will tell you more about Claudia, so I'll jump uh, directly to the eye to eye. And actually I have the well, the part of the platform here. So it's a deep tech company. Actually, developed this kind of, let's say, what they, the founders call this is the interface between the uh, actual real world and the virtual world. Uh, the name is Pallo. It means actually ball in, in Finnish. Well, and I guess it's easy to see where the name comes from. But basically, it's a device full of sensors, full of technology, and can be measured. Of to be used to measure things that what you can see there, uh, but in essence, uh, this is a well the platform for uh, well different kind of applications. So basically, well the uh, I2I well, uh, provides the, uh, the platform on top of which then the the customers can then develop applications for well, different use cases. Um, so far. Well, the best traction we've seen in the wellness and healthcare area, for instance, well, the elderly people are living, still living uh, at home. Uh, this is a good way to make them to stay active and, and uh, uh, make sure that, that, that they do the daily exercises. And, and, and also then, the, uh, then the, well, whoever takes care of them then get a feedback that well, the, the persons actually have done what they are supposed to be doing. Just one example. Well, we have some sports coaches using this with their athletes. Uh, this could be also IoT device, so that basically well, put into a well, the construction site, providing then well, the, the, the IoT data you, you may need for, the, for your work. So that, that I guess well, the well, number of opportunities is pretty much limitless, so we we'll just need to figure out what's the, what are the best cases where we can actually then get, add more most value. And then let's move on. Um, well, this the company is called Warming Surfaces. Actually, it's a spin-off from the National Research Institute in Finland. And basically, the Finnish military uh, tasked that well, the Research Institute to develop a method with which then they can hide all well, the military equipment, vehicles, from the uh, infrared uh, sensors, and uh, so that, that the idea was to create, a, let's say, the coating material that then makes the, the devices invisible, uh, infrared. And uh, actually, what they did then, and then they span out the, the research work and actually turn it around so that it will. Uh, when you leave home, you usually turn the switch off the uh, lights to save electricity. You can't do that usually with heating and warmth, and, and that's the, at least in European Union, by far the biggest uh, uh, energy consumption area, well, the residential side, uh, 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 the, because most of the time in the year we need to then warm, heat up uh, uh, the places we are living. I know it's different here. It's maybe the other way around, but but in, in Europe, definitely heating is the, the major well, way how we are consuming electricity and energy. So with this technology, you can actually sp and maybe even not switch off the heating, but at least turn down the the, well, the, uh, the, the warming when you leave, and and then when you come back, then you can then uh, turn it up uh, back up again, and and you can feel the result uh, quickly because this. this Thin layer providing the warmth. It's where it's really close to you. Could be uh, on the floor, could be on a wall, could be on top of the furniture, wherever. Well, it may uh, let's say it makes most sense. And well, this is now patented technology that they are now bringing out. And then one, finally, well, I let the founder of Claudia, well, tell about what you are doing. Hello, everyone. And first of all, thank you, Oliver, for the opportunity to be here. And Basi, thank you for having me with you on stage today and help us to take the big leap on 
interior design. My name is Katarina Penttilä. I am the co-founder and CEO of Claudia Online Interior Design. We believe that every home deserves a good design. Uh, with Claudia's platform for interior design, we are able to give easy access the Nordic uh, design expertise and design brands for here to Asian uh, markets. Me, like so many other women, dream of having this beautiful and functional home. Uh, and with the help of professional designer, that can be done. Uh, but there are, um, if you think about traditional interior design, uh, the design processes can be very long, very costly. Uh, also, finding the right um, uh, good designer can be really time consuming and frustrating. The solution is online interior design platform, uh, where you can start decorating your home room by room with clear design packages fitted for every need uh, with clear uh, fixed transparent pricing. Uh, we are here now uh, to do the go-to-market mapping here in Singapore and I am really happy to talk more about our thoughts uh, and talk with you more and explore the Singapore market. So, Please come talk to me. I'm happy to uh, continue the conversation with you. Thank you.